Hey y'all, so today I'm just gonna be spicing up my, my shower a little bit. I'm slowly working on my apartment, just wanna make it perfect for me, make it homey and comfortable, and we're gonna start off with my shower. So this is gonna be a little mini series on my channel. So we starting off by taking everything down. I'm quick to throw something away and get something new. It just warms my heart, like. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna take this old caddy down and take this shower head down. This caddy is, I've had, I've been in this apartment for a year and this caddy is rusty, dusty, musty, and crusty. I had it at my last apartment, which I was only there for six months, but the water hitting it just made it so rusty and I've been ready to get rid of it. Like, look at that, this is just way overdue, <laughs> like, Yuck, that looks a mess. So now I'm just unscrewing the shower head. The shower head was actually way easier than I thought it would be. It actually took me two hours though, I'm not even gonna lie because it was so many parts to it, but just putting the shower head on itself wasn't hard. But as you can see, I had the second shower head and that was the complicated part, trying to figure out what to do and how to do it properly with the instructions that I was given. And yeah, my shower head was pretty clean. I've seen a lot of people change their shower head and it would be a lot of crusties and dusties in there because it's uh, hard water. I'm pretty sure I have hard water too, but it hasn't been that long. So like I said, these instructions were not that great. Um, yeah, it wasn't that good. I got this off of Amazon for, I think it was $36. And I'll put the link in the description for this specific product. So the thing that really messed me up and made this process take way longer was trying to figure out how to adhere <laughs> the second shower head to the wall. They didn't give me any instructions on how to do that. They just said like stick it on or whatever. And whole time it was like a sticky part on there that you had to peel off, but it didn't look like it was any like peel off part. So I was just confused. I was like, how do I attach this? And they gave some extra hooks, but they didn't say anything about the hooks in the instructions or, you know, so I didn't know what that was for, but it was just extra hooks. So yeah, my friends had called me on a group FaceTime and I was like, yeah, how do I put this on the wall? Like, what is this? Like, they gave me four hooks, but I'm trying to figure out how do I attach this? Like, how I was so confused, y'all, as you can see in my face. So the things I don't like about this shower head is that it looks nice, but it's very cheaply made. It's very cheap. Um, the square shower head, the rain, I think it's called a rainfall shower head is so loose that when you run the water the weight of the water brings the shower head down so if you adjust it it's going to just go right back down i don't know if that's how it's supposed to be it's supposed to go straight down but that's not how i want to take my showers i want my my water to fall on my body not on my entire head my body so i found a way to keep it in place and hopefully it stays like that for a while. And then another thing that I didn't like is the thing that's holding the second shower head right there is very loose as well. So it's kind of just sitting there. It's not really secured in there. So right here, I'm just putting my fake eucalyptus back up and I'm filling up my baby, Dr. Bronner's baby unscented soap. It's what I use for my vagina. <laughs> Putting that back in there, just sitting it up there, and I'm kind of figuring out how I want everything to lay out. This was way more stressful than it should have been. Like, <laughs> I feel like this should have been something really quick and really easy, but it was, it was, but I think I was just overthinking and I was trying to cut corners a little bit. I'm pretty sure this came in instructions, but it, it wasn't really hard. But there was a certain direction that you had to have the rack sitting on the adhesive part. And I soon realized that it would be better to flip it around so it will be more secure. As you can see right here, I'm like, this is a little 
this is a little loose. I don't like that. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to take this off, take it off the wall, and then flip it around and then put it back on. One thing I know, this is not coming off. It's not going nowhere. It's gonna take some arm strength. Supposedly it's able to hold up to 30 pounds. This was $17 off of Amazon. As you can see, it hold my razor. It can hold about two, sh three shampoos, four shampoos, and about four body washes. And then I guess a soap, if you wanna put soap right there. It has two areas, three areas for you to hang something. And then a spot for your razor to hang. And I just love it. It was so simple, but it added something to my shower. And I'm just excited to take showers even more now. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you thumbs up. Tell your friends about my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.